Wesker, can you come and read my fanfic? What? Another fanfiction story? Oh, shit. Oh, please, Wesker. I was bored and I wrote this last night. Will you please read it? Well, <laughs> fine, fine, whatever. But you owe me for this, Excella. Fill the tub with cool whip again and dress like a zombie. I know, I know. I could. Shut up, Oving. No one likes you. Go and uh, fish or something. Hey, but shut up, Oving. It was a cold, dark night in a fleece. A, a fleece. Living in Africa, Excella. So you got that horribly fucking wrong. The air sticks with blood from the Ouroboros villagers, now dead, that tried to attack a man. Chris Red filed, and a woman, Sheva Alwar. As the carried on a mission to save the world and stop Wesker, that's me. Evil plans to spare the virus and kill Inseen's people. The fuck is Inseen's? What the hell's a feast? Whatever. Chris and Sheva walked around until Chris saw a person and goose after them. Goose after them? Do not have a fucking spell check, Xella. Chris, wait! Shiva yelled and holds her hand out for him to come back, but it was too late. He was gone. Chris looked around and anoints his gun out to see if there is any more Ouroboros monsters around. No one, or should I say, nothing was there. Chris signs in, thank God, but thanks. Wonder who that was. As Chris was about to walk around, Words he knew echoed in his ear. You haven't changed. Chris turned around and saw a man with blonde pushback hair in a Blake outfit with black sunglasses. Whiskey! Chris hissed at his name and starts shooting at Wesker. <sighs> pew, pew, pew! Pew, 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 pew! Wesker was moving like Nero from the Matrix and Doe all the bullets. So he was moving like a Devil May Cry character in a main takes movie making dough out of bullets. Okay. Wesker used his hand and hit Chris in the chest and sent him flying to the wall. Wesker nuke the handgun out of his right hand and pinned both his arms to the wall. Chris moved around with all his might, even though he has a big ass muscle. He was as strong as Wesker was, that right was. Wesker started at him in the face. His eyes were a mix of red and an amber color belined his sunglasses. I hate you, Chris. Wesker growled at Chris. Every part of me hates you. You have embarrassed me for the last time, and now I am going to embarrass you. Chris didn't know what to do till it happened. Wesker pushed his lips at Chris's lips hard and rough. What? What the fuck? Excello? Oh no, you fucking didn't. Chris's eyes were wide as a teacup plate. Wesker pulled away and starts kissing Chris's neck. It slowly moves downward. Excello, you're so fucking dead. Chris bit his lower lip. And tries not to moron. Wesker smirked evilly and contume the kisses, and he rips Chris's shut off. I'm gonna try not to vomit. As Wesker was kissing Chris's chest, he started to unbutton and unzip his pants. When Chris heard his pants being unzipped, he went into panic mode. But Wesker elbowed him in the chest pretty hard to make him stop moving. Chris coughed up blood a bit. Wesker smirked and licked the blood from the side of his lips. Ew. He started again at his pads and pulled them down. Chris had on red boxers. Slowly, Wesker reached down his boxers and grabbed his manhood. Chris gasped. Wesker Damn it, Excella, you're so fucking dead. Wesker, pull.
spills it to his mouth and I'm gonna go vomit, I swear to god, I'm gonna go vomit. Westcott pulls it to his mouth and starts to beep. Chris throws his head back and cried out. Westcott keeps going as Chris made noises and morons. Then Westcott sucked hard. No, I fucking didn't. Till Chris cried out loud and he beep into Westcott's mouth. Ew. Wesker sallow and pushed Chris away and he fell to the floor, like throwing away a candy bar wrapper. Chris never felt so embarrassed in his life. He felt weak and used. I felt fucking weak and used for reading this fan fiction. Wesker smirked and said, I'm sure we'll need to get Chris, and he disappeared to the night, leaving Chris there. Minutes after Wesker left, Chris pulled himself together. Goose looked for Shiva, hoping to forget this ever happened. He didn't feel like he was raped, just embarrassed. The end. So, what do you think, Wesker? That was the worst fucking thing I've ever read. I've read a lot of fucking bad fan fictions before. I'ma go vomit now. No, oh, don't act like that, Whiskey Pooh. I know you love stuff like this. Next time you inject me with a needle, shove it in my fucking heart and kill me, so I'd never have to read crap like this again. Let's go and make fun of Arving again. Would that make you feel better? Uh-huh. Can we punch him too? <laughs> Anything you want, honey. Yay. I could. God, my Irving voice is horrible. I could, I could. Some like gay chipmunk. I could. Nice, I can make mouse. As Vesca started kissing Chris Chess, he started to unbutton. Un unbutton. Unbutton. Oh my goodness. I guess Vesca was right. I really do have poor writing skills. Shut up, Irving. Ignorant croutons. His eyes were a mix of red and an amber color blind. His sunglasses. I hate you, Chris. Wesker growled at Chris. Every part of me hates you. Oh, you have embarrassed me for the last time now. Chris moved around with all his might, even though his big ass muscle. Even though he has a big ass muscle. Why does he just have one muscle and it's in his ass? Why does he have a big ass muscle? Rant! Bloopers! Whee! Okay. And so, like, as Chris was about to walk away, words he knew echoed in his ears and it was like, You haven't changed! So Chris, like, turned around, around, and he saw a man! A man with blonde pushed his hair in a black outfit, and it was like, black! And he said, Wesker! Chris hissed! He hears his name, and he starts shooting at Wesker, and Wesker was like Nero from the Matrix, and he did like, he was dodging the bullets like, awesome, and it was like, so epic! Ah! Wesker was kissing Chris's chest. He started to un <laughs> As Wesker... <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 